Hey guys, it's Katie. I'm making a marathon of videos, so if I sound tired, that's why. I have been sitting with this case box for like a month being like, I will not unpack it because I have to show everybody how cute it is. Uh, and so I'm finally doing it. I ordered this order from K's. It's probably like one of my favorite orders I've gotten in a really long time. Um, I'm kind of obsessed with it. So I want to show it to you all and I just want to show you how cute it was packaged. So first of all, look at it says. They wrote, hi Catherine on the box. How freaking cute is that? Like seriously, is that not the cutest thing? Like, oh my God, it's so sweet. Then there's this little sticker. It says, thank you for supporting my small business. So cute. And she included an invoice, which I'll cover up my address, but. And she put a little note that said, thank you, enjoy your order, which was so cute. And then I have the invoice here, so I'll put it over here in case you guys have any questions. Okay. Oh yeah, and she has a business card. I'm sure you've seen Kay's business card, but that's what it looked like on one side. Um, so that's her information. You should go to that Facebook group if you want to learn more about Kay's. It's amazing. Uh, Carla owns Kay's. It's one of the best wax vendors. You can order whenever you want. There's no pre-sales or restocks or it's just like you can buy wax when you want to buy wax and every cent you want. It's great. I highly recommend Kay's and her stuff is super strong, so. Uh, yes. Okay. So this is my <laughs> case order. It's so insane. Okay. So first of all, the whole impetus, well, the whole reason for this order obviously was Danny. <laughs> Loves, um, what's her YouTube name? That's terrible. But Danny on YouTube, you guys know who I'm talking about. Um, she always talks about K's and then I was like, oh my God, I need to order again. So I'm going to like turn this a little bit. Okay, so that you can kind of see. We'll push that warmer back. Okay. So, um, the whole reason <laughs> that I placed this order was because I love Christmas tree scents. Uh, not like pine saw scents, like true Christmas tree scents. I love them. Um, and Scentsy came out with its winter catalog and had discontinued a ton of the tree scents that I really, really love. I have most of them in my club, so it's fine. But I was just sort of like, oh, I was just like really unexcited for the catalog. And I was like, and usually Scentsy is like where I get a lot of my fall stuff. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna order some tree scents. And then I was like, oh yeah, and I have to stack up on a few things. So um, let's start from the back because that is where all of the Christmas stuff is, like the stuff that I bought for the holidays. And I have my iPad next to me. So if I'm pausing, it's to pull up the set notes for you. So the first thing I got is two ooh, 16 or one 16 ounce, which is two eight ounce of tinsel and crinkle by K's, which I have to smell because it's so amazing. Oh my God, I love it so much. I got this at the end of the, or like maybe even like in early January last year, and I fell in love with it. The set notes for Tinsel and Twinkle are a festive fragrance, orange, sorry, I'm tongue tied, orange zest, grapefruit, cinnamon, and clove bud are followed by cedar leaves, sandalwood, and fir needles. Okay, so I would never think that I would like that. I would think it would be too spicy, but it's not. The cinnamon is so gentle and it is so pretty with those tree notes. And this, it's so, guys, it's so good. Like you can melt it. It almost feels, it smells like clean. It's amazing. And I've posted to the group how much I like it before. And everyone's like, oh, I melt that all year round. So I already have an eight ounce package that I've cured since last year. And then I have these two, which should be cured by the time I go through that. So uh, yeah, like highly recommend. This whole order is like all of the, my best hits. Uh, Tinsel and Twinkle all day, every day. I have to like figure out if I wanna blend it with anything in my next round. Um, I don't know. It's so good by itself. I don't even know what you would blend it with. Okay, let me get the next one and pull it up for you so that you can get the set notes. 
sometimes it's nice to have sat outs, right? I don't usually do it, but okay. So the next one I got is eight ounces of pink evergreen. I got like a shot cup of this last year. Um, it's pink berries, green apple, and whipped sugar blend with frosted evergreen for a new spin on a holiday staple. It's not incredibly strong. And so I wanted to sort of like give it a minute to cure and have it for the winter. It is like a pink sugary tree scent, if that makes sense. Um, it smells really good. I might end up like making it more of a bedroom scent because it's not super strong, but I do really like it. So that is pink evergreen. And let's get the next one, even though it's self-explanatory. <laughs> So this is sugared spruce. I also had this last year in like a shot cup. Um, oh, it's really good. Um, I kind of usually like any sort of like a sugared spruce scent or like a sugared tree scent. So this is an eight ounce. So if you haven't ever seen Kay's before, she has like, they're too deep. So there's two, right? So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So there's 16 in there. For strong ones, you would cut those melts in half if you really wanted to. Um, so sugared spruce is this popular Christmas and holiday scent gives a pleasant woody aroma year round. A perfect blend of blue spruce, earthen moss, warm cedar, and balsam wood rounded out with a base of vanilla, sugar, and caramel butter. Yeah, like if you compare sugared spruce to pink evergreen, sugared spruce is like vanilla balsam spruce and pink evergreen is like pink sugar spruce if that makes any sense both of them are really nice so I'm really glad I have them both and they're both gonna cure and that's really exciting I think I got I placed this order on July 25th so it's not even that old so um okay everything else is just stock up scents and then like a few small new things that oh it's just samples okay we'll go through those too um okay so I bought <laughs> I'm so obsessed with this scent I bought two of rosemary lemon I just keep buying this because it's like one of my favorite scents of all time and I just need to just accept it I keep trying to like you know when you like like makeup and then you go to the store and you keep buying the same four eyeshadow colors from different brands that's how I feel about wax like I keep <laughs> I just keep buying the same thing over and over again and you know pretending like it's different from a different company it's not um so rosemary lemon is a lightly herbaceous blend of rosemary and citrus with woody moss and hints of lavender and musk clean and refreshing this is my favorite scent like in the summer and I just wanted to get two packs of it and let it cure so I think I probably have three packs of this now so that's fine so super excited for that and then you guys like the star <laughs> I just talked about this in my empties video but I'll probably post it separately so I love spa scents like I love 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 spa scents my favorite scent in the whole world I say it all the time is the Weston White Tea scent and I have had her spa weekend before it's pretty popular um which is always a good sign although I don't usually always like what everybody else likes so spa weekend is Lemon blossoms, white tea, and a hint of vanilla sandalwood are blended with lemongrass and black currant with hints of jasmine and musk. This is a very sophisticated, clean, refreshing scent. Okay, so I'm sure that's all true, and like those people definitely know what's in that oil more than I do. What Spa Weekend smells like to me is like walking into a spa and everything smells amazing and someone has like just put out fresh dried clean white towels next to you and you can like smell them but they're not like floral like they just smell so good and warm and like everything smells like lotions and it smells like a spa that's what it smells like it's so good 
So then I blended it with more white tea because I love white tea. And guys, I love Spot Weekend by itself. Like it's really good by itself. Highly recommend. Mixed with the extra white tea, it just like punches it up a notch. It makes it stronger and it makes it last super long. And I'm obsessed. Like this is one of my favorite blends I've ever done in my life. And now I want to mix Spa Weekend with everything. <laughs> like, I want to mix Spa Weekend with, like, Sorel and Lemon Thyme. And I want to mix, like, there's, I'm going, my next mix is going to be Spa Weekend with Bonsai. Those are my two favorite fresh scents. So I bought two of these. I probably will buy two of these, like, every six months. Because I am, it's, like, the perfect, like, company's coming over and I just want someone to be like my you know your house smells really good it smells really clean that's what this is it is I can smell it I, I know what it smells like it smells so good like if you like fresh spa scents do this um if I could find a laundry from K's that I like I would also like bump up the laundry and maybe even do like another like a laundry oil with that to bump up like the clean fresh towel scent so um okay then I got a few miscellaneous thing and then we can look at the samples so I got this based on Danny's from YouTube uh recommendation blackberry frankincense this is really good um let me actually it's probably just blackberry and frankincense but let me look it up for you in case it's extra special okay so it has like the funniest picture next to it anyway this is a unique fragrance top notes of blackberry and lemon with frankincense amber and light musk this smells really good it's like a very comforting smell this is going to be beautiful in the fall yeah, it's going to be really beautiful. It has that, like, earthy, incense -y scent, but it smells very sophisticated. Like, not, there's not one thing, like, the blackberry re really rounds it out and makes it not smell like head shop or anything like that. I think I might blend this with, like, a tree scent, and that would be beautiful. Like, I might go back and make a blend, like, find just, like, a pure, not, like, a sugared spruce, but just, like, a spruce and blend it with that that would be really really good so I'm really happy I got this I'll probably get more of it in future orders I don't know why I decided to get this <laughs> so this is Jack Frost uh which is like it's more than this but it's basically like a van like a vanilla mint scent it's a sweet mint scent and it's really nice it's too minty for me I mean I'll use it I'll probably like see if there's a day when I have like a head cold or something or like I don't know. It's too minty for me, but that's not her fault. It's my fault. I don't love super minty scents. And I should have known because Danny loves this and she loves mint. So it's just like way too strong for me. I'll melt it. Like it's fine, but uh, I would not get that again. It's just too, too minty. I don't know what I was thinking it would be. I'm an idiot, but okay. I think everything else is samples. Like how cute are her samples? Like, so cute. Okay. This is Cherry Champagne Toast. I'm not going to like it if it's cherry. Nope, it's cherry. I don't like cherry. I will not be keeping that. That's fine. I very rarely use samples, so. Uh, this is Red Spiced Tea, which I heard, I think Danny used this one for custom. Hmm, that's nice. That could be nice and comforting. It's very earthy, very strong, not spiced, but like earthy. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I'll put it in my pile. I have so many like insane samples I don't use. This is North Pole. I'm assuming this is probably a minty scent. Yep, it is. <laughs> I give that one away. <laughs> you ever met a more picky person? Um, this is Sweet Slumber. I think this, these are very similar to the ones that Danny got, which I think is a lavender scent. Oh, that's pretty. 
That's really pretty. It's like a lavender-y, perfumey scent, almost with like a touch of laundry, maybe. Um, it's really nice. I actually might just throw that in my bedroom. That's a really, it would be a really nice bedroom scent. Obviously it's called Sweet Slumber. Yeah. Um, okay. This is pine cones, which I'm sort of interested in because you know I like that vibe. That's nice. Is pine. It's almost a little pine solly, but not quite. With like a more earthiness to it. Um, yeah, I'll definitely give that a shot. Oh, sorry if I'm bumping you guys. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. And sugared spruce, which we already have in a big thing, so we don't have to worry too much about it. Um, and then, guys, look how cute. Give me a lollipop. I'll probably just like, throw this in my desk in case I want it from Candy Creek. So that is my K's haul. Um, you guys, if you haven't ordered from K's, uh, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. She's amazing and her company is amazing and her business model is amazing. She has so many good scents. Go watch Danny on YouTube um, and, uh, you know, check out the other folks who buy from Case. They all have really interesting customs and it's just so fun to make your own customs. You know, I didn't used to be into that, but I'm getting more and more into it as I fall in love with scents and I really think it's a great company. So thank you so much for sticking with me <laughs> for almost 17 minutes. I hope you're all doing well and staying sane in an insane world. And I hope you're smelling all the good things. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.